everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the die casts I got from Pocono and a couple that I brought home, brought from home to get signed. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we will start with the 164s I bought this weekend. Unfortunately, I was not able to go to Mead Motorsports, the die cast tent. Um, that has some really good die cast deals, but not wasn't able to go over there this weekend. Kind uh, kind of sad about that, but no big deal. So all these cars I bought from the haulers. I'm gonna start off here with Kyle Larson's 2023 HendrickCars.com scheme. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, my 2022 version, um, I like is all dinged up. I don't know why. Um, I I didn't think I dropped it. <laughs> I don't normally drop stuff, so. Not really sure how that got dinged up, but it's a pretty cool die cast. Pretty much the same as last year's. There are some subtle differences, like the hood logo, and I'm sure, like, different logos on the B post or C post, whatever. Um, and obviously the NASCAR 75th logo, but some subtle differences. Um, pretty cool paint scheme, obviously, and the very pronounced hood louvers there as well. So, put that one away. And we will move on to the next die cast. If we can get it back in the box, there we go. Okay. So, next up, here we have a really cool paint scheme. Uh, got released eh, not that long ago, I don't think. Um, but here it is. Martin Shurek Jr.'s. 2023 Best Pro Car. It's a really cool paint scheme. Um, honestly, uh, I know it's been at the haulers for uh, at least, at least I think like maybe a little less than a month. Not sure though. Here it is. I'm not sure if this is actually released. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah. We'll do like little 360s for all the race cars. I think I think this is a really much needed upgrade from last year's. Last year's scheme wasn't that bad, but this year, definitely an upgrade. So, there's that. We'll move on to car number three now. I'm sorry, um, I am filming this Monday, I don't know why I just forgot the day, um, Monday night, because um, we didn't get home from Pocono until like midnight last night, so, couldn't really film last night, and plus I was really drained and out of energy, <laughs> got a little bit of that back today, uh, we'll go on to this next one, this is the, I think, the only 2022 I bought this week. And considering it may be his final win, um, decided to pick it up. Who knows? We got a good stretch of tracks coming up for him. This is Kevin Harvick's 2022 Mobile One Richmond win. So let's pop it out of the box. My dad's a big Kevin Harvick fan. He has been for a while, so thought it'd be cool to uh, get this die cast. Like I said. Could be his last one. Could be. Or he could just go to Richmond this week and win. Who knows? Uh, but here it is. Pretty cool. Got a lot of confetti. Like, a lot of confetti. Um, I love confetti cake die casts, and uh, this is definitely one of them. It's got a good amount of race wear, and uh, not really sure what's going on with this side. I already looked at it in the box, but... I think something's wrong with, like, the decal placement here, because I, I don't think that's supposed to be like that, and if you look here, the Goodyear logo is much higher on this side, so something definitely a little bit off there, but do the 360. Yeah, so pretty awesome. Good looking race win. 
probably one of my favorites from 2022. So, we can put that away. And move on to the next 164. I'm honestly not sure how many 164s I bought. Um, but, you know, we'll just keep going. Ah, here's a good one. Uh, this, I do know, is an early release. I don't. Th I think it comes out pretty soon, but for right now, it's an early release. It's Christopher Bell's 2023 Dewalt car, and I apologize, other than the Harvick, I apologize if I say, like, the year's wrong, like, if I say 2022 for this, because I'm still used to saying 2022, so I apologize if I say that. But. As some of you know, I am a big Christopher Bell fan. Obviously, William Byron is my favorite, but Christopher Bell... Probably my second favorite, because, I don't know, I just, I just like the way his driving style, and, yeah, I don't, I don't know, um, but here's the die cast, super cool, it's got the chrome numbers, this one looks a little off on the front end, but, not that big of a deal, so, yeah, move on from this one pretty quickly. It's a cool paint scheme, but last year's, yeah, I think, was better. So, we will move on here to the next one. But don't worry, guys, 124s are coming up soon, but I just want to get these 164s shown and out of the way. I don't know if I should probably speed up here. Eh, maybe. Maybe I should. I'll keep you guys for too, too long. Here is the next one. Pretty awesome paint scheme. Uh, it's Chase Elliott's 2023 Hooters 164. Um, the box is a little beat up. I think that was from it being in the bag. But, yeah. So. Took a couple of these out of the box on the way home, but this was not one of them, so. Uh, I can't get it out. So, this one, got a really cool matte finish. So. Looks super cool. I prefer this much more than last year's. I think they did a really good job, you know, kind of incorporating everything, and it's a Hooters car, so <laughs> that's always pretty cool. So, there's that one. Um, we'll move on. I did get another Chase Elliott car, so we'll move on to that one. I think they had the most Chase Elliott cars there of, like, anyone. Uh, because I think I counted they had, like, 12 something. I don't know. Probably more. But here is the other Chase Elliott car I bought. Here is his Napa car from 2023. Really awesome paint scheme. I'm glad they did this this year. Uh, I think it's an upgrade from last year. So, once again, this is one that I did not take out of the box. Yeah. Now I have, but, you know. Ugh, here it is. So, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, a, I think it's a big upgrade from last year, personally. Um, just, I, I don't know what it is. It, just the design in general, I think. Much, much better. I really like it. So, yeah. Not too many flaws on here, on here on this one. But, uh, yeah. There is that. Uh, yeah, I should probably start to speed up a little bit. Um, <laughs> because we are, what, ten minutes in, and I'm not even done with the 164. But we do have two more to go, so I'm not sure how many. We'll go, we'll go to this one first. Uh, yes, yeah, we'll go to this one. So, I think... Personally, this is a very, 
very underrated paint scheme. Uh, not a very underrated driver, but uh, it's Chase Briscoe's 2023 Rush Truck Center's car. I honestly didn't know this one was uh, released early at the haulers. It could be the first week for it, but I don't think it is, but it, it could be. Um, I don't... Uh, yeah. I didn't know this was out, but Pleasant surprise. So, get a closer look at it. The yellow looks pretty cool. And I really like the Ross Truck Center scars. Remember when Clint Boyer got a die cast from it in 2020? And I think it's just really, really neat. Pretty clean here on the front end as well. And I really like the paint scheme. So. Definitely a good add for Chase Briscoe. Now we got one more. I am starting to become a fan of this guy. And if he does make the playoffs, I think I'll be even more of a fan for him, of him. It's his rookie season in NASCAR. And here is his first Cup Series diecast. That was a voice crack, I think. Uh, but here it is. Ty Gibbs, 2023 Interstate Bat Race Car. So, like any other Interstate Batteries car, uh, it's got that those red numbers. Super cool. So, here it is. I'm glad this one was at the racetrack, because I just really like it. And, need a tight Gibbs car, so. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. I don't think I have any Ty Gibbs cards in my collection except for this one. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think I have any, like, from his Xfinity cards. But, I could be wrong. I don't think I do, though. But, I'm glad Gibbs got the chance in Cup this year. And he's done pretty well. I think he's probably overachieved most people's expectations. But, who knows, maybe he had higher expectations for some. But, I think he's lived up to his expectations pretty well. Alright, so, we do have three more 164s, but they are autographed on the box. Um, two of them I brought from home, and one I bought at the racetrack. So, we'll start with the two that I bought from home. This is Eric Jones's 2021 almost said 2022, uh, tied 164, so, obviously, sign on the box, you can't really sign on the windshield on these things, because it's a little tiny, um, but, yeah, Eric, I got a couple cards signed by Eric, you'll see later in the video, uh, but he, he really did a fantastic job, he was super nice, um, I got a picture with him, which I'll put right there, um, super nice guy, so, go Eric, I really like his paint schemes too. So there's that one. I won't take that one out of the box. Um, because it's kind of an old car. But we'll move on to the other one I brought from home. I think I've kinda already showed this. William Byron's Raptor 164. I got autographed here. Uh, I don't really know which way. I guess this way. Let's see. It's harder to see. He had a uh he had a black Sharpie. I had silver, but um he was just going up and down and signing stuff. I met Jones at the Air Force booth, so that's why he just grabbed my silver Sharpies and signed with those. But Byron I met at the Chevy display, so a little bit, I don't know, more sped up. Here's Eric Jones's 2023 U.S. Air Force car. Not only did we get it signed this way, um, but... It is probably my favorite paint scheme of the year. I think. So, go ahead and show it to you. Yeah, this is incredible. I'm glad it got made. And, uh, it's definitely an upgrade from last year. Definitely. 
most of these cards have gotten good upgrades, including this. So, super, super cool. One of my favorite paint schemes of the year. Uh, maybe not even the year. Maybe ever. I don't know. Very, very cool paint scheme. Hopefully I can get the 124 when it comes out. But, I don't know. I got a lot of, a lot of 124s I want to get, so... We'll see, but yeah, there again, that's the signature. Again, Eric did a fantastic job. They look incredible. So finally, guys, we can move on to the 124s. You guys have been waiting a little bit here. Um, but here is the first one, and uh, why not it be... Here, i got to move the 164 so I can get to it. Why not it be the guy... We just looked at because this is a 2021 car, so obviously one that I brought from home. This is Petty's Garage 124. So, take it out of the box. Like I said, this is one I brought from home, so it doesn't have any of that promotional crap. Slide the top off. There we go. So, the paint scheme. I think super good, super super good, super nice. We'll say super nice paint scheme. And this is DIN 185. So yeah. And again, I'll say it. Eric did a fantastic job with the signature looks incredible and I'm super glad I was able to meet him because super cool guy and uh, yeah I was a fan but you know now now I'll be rooting for him every week hoping that he doesn't crash <laughs> 2023 obviously been a miserable year for Legacy Motor Club I do believe he got a top 10 at Pocono though so that was good for his confidence, I guess. So here is another 124, and you guessed it, it's from Eric Jones. It is his Tide car from 2021. So, got four cars signed by him, so super nice of him. So here it is. It's like wobbling. I didn't screw it in that well, but it 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 was enough to work. It's like lopsided. You can see, got the signature once again. This one also incredible. Just did a fantastic job. And uh, yeah, so once again. Thanks to Eric, what is this? 168. Um, once again, thanks to Eric because these, some of my favorite paint schemes in my collection. So to get it signed, it's pretty cool. Sorry, that was an awful noise. Um, but yeah, so there it is. So we can move on to my boy. In 124 autographed. So all the 124s I brought this or bought slash brought this week, I did get autographed. This one sitting in my backpack too long has a little bit of box damage, but it's really not bad. Uh, so this is Byron's 2021 Homestead winner. Got this, I guess, last year. a little rough um but like i said um byron had his own black sharpie so he didn't use the silver ones which makes it kind of hard to see the autograph but it's okay still super cool to meet my favorite driver and you can see it it's just not as obvious as the jones ones obviously This is a super cool paint scheme, and I'm glad he won Atlanta so we 
hopefully get a 164. Because from what I saw, there's a good amount of rubber and race detail on there. This is back when they could put grill tape on the cars. And uh, I always wondered what that was, but yeah, so there it is. William Byron's 2021 Homestead winner. Autographed. All these I did get autographed in person. I'm not really sure if I made that clear before. Oh, by the way, this is DIN 296. So. Um, yeah, I didn't, like I said, I, I'm not sure if I made that clear. Like, thinking I cheated. Oh, this one wrong. It's, thinking I cheated and bought pre autographed ones. Nope, I did not. So before we get into the last one, obviously saving the best for last, I think. Um, I did the 164s I did buy. Um, I believe Larson, his was 12. But I think that was the only $12 one as the rest were, I believe, 14. So if we're looking to get 164s at the track, they're not cheap. So make sure you bring enough money. Or like you're me, I carry cash. Because I don't have a credit card yet, so <laughs> make sure you're prepared to do your do your shopping. Because the 164 is normally 14, and then the 124s are 85. So here is this one, and just to look at the box, will tell you this is a 2023 124, my first 2023 124, and we'll spin it around. It's getting it's autographed. You can see it there. William Byron's 2023 Raptor 124. Very cool paint scheme. Upgrade from last year? I think so. I did like last year's scheme a lot, but this one, I think, definitely tops it. Because this is fantastic looking. Lionel didn't do a great job on the paint. I mean, you can kind of see... Just like little chips, decal lining off, like especially up here, which doesn't quite look right, but that's okay. It is autographed, as you can see. Again, not as obvious as the Jones ones, but still really, really cool. Once again, these are 85 at the racetrack, which is better than last year, from what I can remember. I think last year they were 100, so... Definitely better than last year, but under the hood, there's the engine. Yeah, that's <laughs> the engine. Um, there's the Chevy logo, Raptor, Liberty University, Valvoline, and Wix filters. But yeah, so that is the Pocono Hall from 2023. We'll end it off right here. Um, a super, super fun time. Uh, I'll have the vlog going up later, um, but quick opinions on the end of the race. I think it was a terrible call. Obviously, I'm biased. I hate Hamlin with a passion, um, so I'm obviously biased, but I, when it comes to the call, I'm not. Um, I, I just think if it was any driver out front, if it was Byron out front, you know, I'd obviously be happier, but I wouldn't think it was the right call. I I say they should have wrapped him up and did another restart, but I don't know. I think everyone around me, um, including someone who was sitting right in front of me, um, who was a Bowman fan, so <laughs> um, you know, just upset and uh, just booing and. Yeah, the uh, the people in front of us, I don't know if you'll see it in the vlog or not, I don't know if they did it when I was filming, um, but uh, yeah, Hamlin got a couple middle fingers, and so, you know, to be expected from NASCAR fans, because Hamlin is not a very popular driver in a good way, so, yeah, but those are my quick opinions, you'll hear me saying yelling and screaming like I did last year in the vlog, so hope you are excited for that, but this is Din, I think, 238.
So, that is going to wrap it up for this diecast all haul. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, a super fun time out at Pocono. And, uh, yeah, so, really, really fun time. And uh, I'm really glad I was able to go this year. So, super, super cool. But, yeah, there's that. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I did. I'm not even going to say it all that much, but you know the drill. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.